But does he think it can be avoided and how? The author of a new best-selling book, The Great Depression Ahead, economist Harry Dent joins us live from our New York City newsroom. Harry, good morning. Nice to be here, Megan. Uh, so just reading your bio, it's rather impressive. Uh, you are very well respected. You've predicted all sorts of things that have happened in this country and other countries. When everybody else told you you were going to be wrong, you turned out being right. And I'm sorry to tell our viewers that you are one of the ones who is predicting that this recession will lead to another Great Depression? Yes, you know, this isn't just a banking crisis. It's the peak of, of the massive baby boom generation's entire spending cycle. And for many years to come, they're going to be spending less, saving more. This is something we can predict very reliably with demographics. And that means the government stimulus is going to be limited in effect and probably not last more than next year. So people have to prepare for the next crash and downturn. Wait, so you think it's the, the, the retirement of the baby boomers that's really get, gotten us into this mess? Well, people peak in their, in their mid to late 40s and spending, spend less as they prepare for retirement so that's the first trend that's happening but we are also seeing the early baby boomers accelerate in retirement and that's even worse because they leave the workforce don't pay payroll taxes don't earn incomes and require benefits so all the demographic trends are down for years to come all right if you think we're actually headed for another great depression <laughs> um, when is it when is it hitting and what sort of numbers are we going to be looking at? First of all, I think we're probably going to get a bounce in the markets the next three to six months. People should use that to sell their stocks and 401k plans, get liquid and cash. Same with real estate they wish they sold. We expect a bounce into late this year, early uh, 2010 at the latest, but then the economy turns back down. We're expecting stocks will go down to something like about a 3,800 Dow, give or take, and housing should Whoa. get back to 2000, year 2000 levels. Now, that doesn't sound like much, but for places like New York, San Francisco, Miami, that's a lot lower than you think. A 3,800 Dow as we look at the big board and it's at 8,000 right now. What, what does that mean for our viewers as a practical level? You know, it, it, uh, what, if you are right, what, what should they be doing? Look at this. Look what you're doing to the markets right now as we talk, <laughs> Harry. Uh, down below 8,000. What should people be doing with their money? Well, again, you know, this is a situation where all assets go down and, and investments, bubbles are bursting. That, that only happened in the 1930s. So you have to sell out as things move up, like stocks. We expect probably move back up to 10, maybe 11,000. Sell and just go to cash, hold that cash for the next few years and let this deflation and banking crisis play out. Just like in the 30s, your money goes up in value. Same for real estate or anything else you own that you don't need to keep long term. What about buying? I, hear, I heard you feel okay about buying gold or silver. Yes, we like commodities, especially for the next year or so. Gold and silver are hedge against the U.S. dollar falling with all this money printing. And, and uh, things like oil and natural gas are a hedge against problems in the Middle East and the dollar as well. So commodities are good, but even those we probably wouldn't have investors holding past early next year or late this year. All right, and I got to ask you, when does the housing market bottom out? If you're, if you're waiting to buy, when should you wait until? Our guess looking at past trends, again, around 2,000 levels, about 50% down for the average house in the country, probably around late 2012, early 2013. So even, not just people waiting to buy now, older people, young couples should wait to buy. They're going to get great bargains. Wow. Any way of avoiding this? You know, not really. I mean, the government needs to provide liquidity, so this is least painful. But I think the government's going to add too much debt to a situation that you really can't turn around. You look at other examples like the Japanese in the 90s, and we called that downturn way in advance. The Japanese could not prevent real estate from deflating or the stock market from going down. They just allowed it to happen a little slower. All right. So basically, the bottom line, folks, is take your money, you stuff it in your mattress, yeah. or you buy up a bunch of gold. You heard it from Harry Dent first. I don't believe you, Harry. <laughs> Bill I ain't buying it. Bill's up.